Great God in all that you do and he will be with you. Listen to him with your eyes. Listen to him with your heart. Listen to him as he speaks with you and he will be with you. Touch him in all those you love. Touch him in all those you love. Touch him in them and let them touch you. And he will be with you. Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers. Good, Good morning, morning, Father. Father. This Mass is offered for the soul of Victoria Sebastian by Juliana, soul of Bella Fernandez by Peter Fernandez and family, and also for the soul of P.J. Satish by Purnima and family. And also we pray for all souls in purgatory by Sharon and family. And very especially, we pray for the intention of Lakshmi for a marriage, of a deliverance from all the evil and conversion of a mother. And also, special petition God may heal those who are infected with the COVID 19, especially for Shalini, Rani, Sindhu, Samson, Dia, and two weeks old child. Very especially, we place this petition and ask God to give the deliverance and healing. And also we place all those sisters and brothers who are bearing the name of Saint Martha. Let us begin the celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, today our Holy Mother Church celebrates the feast of Saint Martha. She is one of the sister of Lazarus of Bethany. Jesus worked a miracle. Jesus symbolically showed a rising Lazarus to life that he is God of life. He has won over the death. Death cannot do anything to him. The darkness cannot do anything to him. He is a master of everything. So Lazarus became a model for Jesus' resurrection. Martha remained a symbolical lady of service as well as worship. The Benedictines and other monasteries sometimes they use work and worship. Similarly, Martha showed a great model work as well as worship and finally through that obedient to the master my dear sisters and brothers times we just so much involved in work but we forget the worship so much we involved in worship we forget the work but today Martha gives a great model for all of us not only worship the work should be involved in that not only just work 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 forgetting God and spirituality, even worship should be involved in that. St. Martha stands a great model for all of us. Take her as an example and also ask God to forgive us since times we are not like St. Martha or Jesus, what you expected from us, we are not up to that mark. Ask him to forgive. Give us a grace once again to be a true, a holy, blessed disciple of God. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, whose Son was pleased to be welcomed in St. Martha's house as a guest, grant, we pray, that through her intercession, serving Christ faithfully in our brothers and sisters, we may merit to be received by you in halls of heaven. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and he who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. In this the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent his only begotten Son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No man has ever seen God. If we love one another, God abides in us, and his love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us, because he has given us of his own spirit. And we have seen and testify that the Father has sent his Son as the Savior of the world. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him and he in God. So we know and believe the love God has for us. God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. Responsorial Psalm, our response shall be, I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. Praise of him is always in my mouth. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. Our response? I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. From all my terrors, he has set me free. Our response? I will bless the Lord at all times. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This lowly one called the Lord heard and rescued him from all his distress. Our response? I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who fear him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him. Our response? I will bless the Lord at all times. Fear the Lord, you his holy ones. They lack nothing, those who fear him. The rich suffer, want, and go hungry. But those who seek the Lord lack no blessing. Our response? I will bless the Lord at all times. Kindly rise for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia. 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 I am the light of the world, says the Lord. 
he who follows me will have the light of life alleluia 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 the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o lord at the time many of the jews had come to martha and mary to console them concerning their brother when martha heard that jesus was coming she went and met him while mary sat in the house martha said to jesus lord if you had been here my brother would not have died even now i know that whatever you ask from god god will give you jesus said to her your brother will rise again martha said to him i know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day jesus said to her i am the resurrection and the life he who believes in me though he die yet shall he live and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die do you believe this she said to him yes lord i believe that you are the christ the son of god he who is coming into the world the gospel of the lord praise, praise to you lord, lord jesus christ. christ i believe that you are the christ the son of god gospel of john chapter 11 verses 27 i believe that you are the son of god the christ my dear sisters and brothers today we are celebrating the feast of saint martha we see the confession statement of saint martha i believe that you are the messiah you are the son of god the one who has to come i believe this is very powerful word when jesus asking martha do you believe she said yes i believe this is what jesus expected from martha when martha said yes i believe jesus gave the resurrection to lazarus when mother mary said in gospel of luke chapter 2 we see thy will be done according to the promise of god so the salvation history proceeded the entire christianity or you can call the entire human salvation stands on the resurrection of our lord jesus jesus came to the world died for us third day rose again before jesus could show his resurrection he has to show to the people what is exactly the resurrection and he took lazarus and his family a great example for the resurrection that is what we should reflect on each and every word of jesus let us reflect in gospel of luke chapter 10 verses 38 onwards there he speaks about a family called lazarus family the family residing in bethany a bethany a just quite far place from jerusalem and this lazarus was a good friend of jesus could be a childhood friend and he has two sisters mary and martha when brother is a friend in fact even the sisters will become a friend the family was very close to them the second thing is very important why jesus was so much caring about them lazarus was the head of the family mary and martha they lost their parents when they were young and lazarus was taking care of them whenever jesus has to go to bethany he has to find a place in fact we to do it right some relative or friend somebody whom you are very familiar with them who loves us we go and stay with them and moreover we see in that house there's a lot of hospitality was there love and care welcoming jesus not just as a messiah somebody as a own friend as a own family member so jesus was very comfortable in that family and that's the reason jesus selected that family even to show his resurrection as a model that is what gospel of luke speaks about this chapter 10 that jesus went to house of lazarus where you see 
Sometimes a lot of explanation be given. Mary is so faithful to God, so sincere to God, at the feet of the Lord, listening to. But Martha was so busy. My dear sisters and brothers, never ever take this wrong notations. Mary is yes, listening. In other words, we can take Mary is lazy, don't want to do work. Everything she wants to put burden on Martha could be in that sense too, right? But whatever it is, God loved them. As soon as Jesus entered the house, the person who welcomes provides us water, a coffee, a tea, we will love them, right? In fact, everyone. That is why Jesus loved Martha very much. Mary went and sat without doing any work. She started just admiring him, loving him, listening to him. Jesus loved her. Moreover, Jesus loved Martha more. Martha not only just listening to Jesus, she served Jesus because need food for our stomach, for our body. So Martha was very much caring Jesus, very much. She was loving him. And that's how Jesus said, Martha, Martha, because Jesus loved Martha very much. Martha, Martha, you are just selecting only one part. Come and sit with me, Jesus saying. Food is secondary for me. And all this whatever drinks is secondary for me. But yet Martha understood Jesus very well. She knew my master or my friend, he needs something to eat. All day we are strived from Jerusalem. Don't our mother do that when you go home? First thing my mother will do, first thing, what do you want to have? Did you eat anything? Second thing only my mother will ask for, what the reason I've come? That is the love of Martha. Martha, first thing she saw, something should feed my master or my lord or my friend. That is the beauty of Martha. And almost, I believe, we will love Martha very much because she provides. We travel all the way. Somebody calls and gives you something to eat or drink. Then they find why you have come. That is the beauty of our, even our culture of our country. The important thing is the moment we enter, what we do? Water, a buttermilk, coffee, tea, something we provide. Then later only, uh, for what, what's the reason you have come? That is the beauty of Martha, and that is what Martha stands here. The second important thing, Jesus cared the family very much. And we see today's gospel, gospel of John chapter 11, speaks about Lazarus' resurrection. When Jesus was in Jerusalem, the message comes that Lazarus is very serious. Let's go. Jesus remains there. He could have gone immediately or Jesus could have said some word from there. Lazarus would have come to life. No. Jesus personally wants to visit that family because he had a personal love, personal care. The reason? The hospitality and the love they showed towards him. The least to show to my brothers has done to me and they have sent the least to Jesus himself. It's a beautiful love they had. And Jesus himself had come to that place. There, there we see, as Jesus entered the town, one thing happens, very important. Mary is still sitting at home only. As she was sitting in the Gospel of Luke at the feet of Jesus, she was sitting at home. But Martha, as she was rushing up, preparing for him, when he had come, Gospel of Luke, similar, she rushes up out of the house at the gate, the entrance of the city. She goes and says to him, Lord, if you were there, my brother wouldn't have died. That is the faith of Martha. That is the belief of Martha. Jesus just got exalted. The way she said, if you were there, my brother wouldn't have died. And Jesus, with a smile, looked at her. If you believe, still greater things you will see. She said, yes, I do believe. Come, let's do the miracle. So, my dear sisters and brothers, this very beautiful conversation between Martha and Jesus is happening here. And we see the seven characteristics of Martha here. Martha, the first characteristic, she's a hospitality. We see that particular character in her, the hospital, Martha, we call it. Because her hospitality, welcoming, caring, that is the first thing we see. Second thing is that we see the same gospel of Luke chapter 10. There she speaks about Jesus to come a rescue or support her asking Mary to come and help. That is the second part we see, worried Martha. Martha is much worried what to provide him, what to give him, what he'll like. So that is worried Martha. But Jesus says, Martha, don't worry about that. More than the food, for me, the word of God. Man does not live by bread alone, but each and every word of God. Book of Deuteronomy, Jesus speaks to Martha. And third characteristics we see about Martha. She's a lovable lady. Martha is very lovable. 
because we show our love through our service. You know that even our cook, what kind of food they prepare, if they have love, automatically even the bitter food becomes sweet food. There should be love when we're cooking a food also, when we're serving, when we're providing. That is the beauty of every mother. When mother gets in the kitchen, when she prepares especially for the priest and for religious, automatically the food turns into be honey. Whatever she prepares, either she puts a salt, doesn't put a salt. The love turns that food into very tasty food. That is the beauty of mother being a cook. The third part, as I said, lovable Mata. And the fourth one is Mata. Mata is a caring, serving Martha. Martha was so much excited when Jesus came to the house, she started serving him. Started serving him, serving him, providing this, that, and she was just asking, come Mary, Mary, come, let's have some other extra dish for him. That is what the fourth characteristics of Martha. And also, the fifth characteristic of Martha we have, this Martha is a trusting Martha. When Jesus asked, do you believe that I will give the resurrection to your brother? She said, yes, Lord. That is believing Martha. And the sixth we see, the trusting Martha. Martha rushed up. Rushed up, we see, Gospel of John, chapter 11, verses 20. She rushed up to the gate entrance. She said, if you were there, my brother wouldn't have died. If you were there, my brother wouldn't have died. This is the sixth, very powerful it is. She trusted Jesus. If he was there, nothing would have happened to my family because he is my shield and my fortress. This is what God wants from Israelites. Every time God Israel is asking, why didn't you trust me? I am with you. When you go for war, why didn't you call me? I'll protect you. When you have some problem, why didn't you call me? I'll give you life for you. I'm your God. And the final one, we need to follow this very strictly about Martha. Bethany is a place all the Pharisees, scribes waiting to kill Jesus. Bethany is a place they want to butcher Jesus. They want to destroy him, finish him off. Because he's a son of God, he's a Messiah. He's become a threat to everyone. And they're waiting. That is the time we see the boldly when Jesus says, let me go to Bethany to see Lazarus. Thomas uses a word. St. Thomas says that, let me also go with him, we'll die. That situation, and Jesus coming, a single lady, a brother already is dead. Martha, a single lady with a younger sister. When everybody is waiting to kill Jesus, she's so bold enough. That's what we call Martha as a bold Martha, the seventh characteristic. She was so bold enough to welcome Jesus. She never bothered. She went entrance of the gate and she welcomed, Lord, come to my house, save my brother, may my brother to come to life. That is a bold Martha. My dear sisters and brothers, I was so excited today when I was just reflecting on this Martha thing because her characteristics and her life, she has given a great model for all of us to be a good sister, to be a good mother, to be a good friend, to be a good companion. Martha stands here. And I believe if Martha was a good religious sister, the entire universe would have made her the first saint after Mother Mary. Because she was a lady who showed what is really service. She was really a lady who showed what is really prayer. She showed what is really to be a saint. So one of my professors said, you know, there are saints living in our house and our families. You know where they are living? The saints are living in kitchen. Yes, I believe that. I believe that. Saints more than living in a church, living in a prayer, or kneeling in bread of blessed sacrament, they are saints living in a kitchen. The saints living in a presbytery kitchen, in a seminary kitchen, in a convent kitchen, very especially in a family kitchen. She starts at the morning till the evening without any wages, without any appreciations, without any free time, full of love, full of love, full of love. All the saints have got the seven characteristics, and I just offer all the saints, those who work in kitchen like Martha, may God bless them and have a beautiful, blessed, happy feast. God bless you all.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, the goodness of bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth, work of human hand, and the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the wine work of a human hands and become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may accept be God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders in St. Martha, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as her homage of love was pleasing to love, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. The great example leads us courage, the fervent prayer sustain us in all we do, and so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy day for these gifts, we pray, for sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time it was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring it to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, a Pope, Peter, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember all the brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Remember all the departed brothers, sisters, and parents, and family. May God grant them eternal bliss. Very especially, we remember the soul of P.J. Satish. We pray for departed soul of Bella Fernandez, soul of Victoria Sebastian, and all the souls in purgatory of our Sharon and family. And also, very specially, we remember the soul of George Victoria. And may God grant all the departed ones whom we don't remember. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy on the families all gathered here. Though they are participating in the Holy Eucharist, they are part of the celebration. May God grant them the gift of life, gift of the holiness, gift of purity as given gift of St. Martha. Lord, very specially, we offer all those who ask us to pray to whom you promise our prayers. Those are part of the Holy Eucharist through the live tube channels or through TV channels. May God bless them to bless as St. Martha received your blessing to be part of your kingdom message. 
And also, Lord, very specially we pray for intention of Lakshmi for a marriage and deliverance from all the evil. Intention of Lakshmi for her mother conversions. And also, Lord, we pray those patients, Shalini, Rani, Sindhu, Samson, Divya, and the child suffering under COVID. And all the patients we offer on this altar. Have mercy on us all of these parish members who are requested the prayer, who need your protection, deliverance from all crises and problems in this pandemic time. Have mercy, Lord, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, his spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, St. Anthony, St. Francis Xavier, St. Martha, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious the grand peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the, the glory, glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, because at your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of our Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, my Lord and my God. As Martha said, I believe. Yes, Lord, we all believe you. You are the resurrection. For every problem situation, you are the resurrection and you are the life for us. Even you are the resurrection for our sickness. You are the resurrection for all our problems. Let us come to him as Martha came and believed in him. Let us profess our faith in him. Happy are those called to the supper of this living God. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word. My and my soul, soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
active spiritual communion my jesus my jesus i believe i believe that you are present that you are present in the most holy sacrament in the most holy sacrament i love you i love you above all things above all things and i desire earnestly and i desire earnestly to receive you into my soul to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally receive you sacramentally come spiritually into my heart come spiritually into my heart i embrace you i embrace you as you are already there as you are already there in my heart in my heart and unite myself and unite myself holy to you holy to you never permit me never permit me to be separated from you to be separated from you amen Amen. Martha said to Jesus, "You are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into this world." Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of Jesus Christ, your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fallen world, so that following the example of Saint Martha, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth, rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven. through Christ our lord amen prayer to saint anthony o, o loving, loving saint, saint anthony, anthony you were a special witness of god's power and, and loving imitator of jesus who received from god the special power of restoring lost things and patron of the poor we lift up our prayers to you We trustfully and confidently ask your aid in our present need. Help all of us in our daily struggles, giving us hope and peace. Pray for us, Saint Anthony, so that we may continue to grow in God's love. Intercede for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your family. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you, remain with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Dear sisters and brothers, it's very special day for all those who are saints living in the kitchen, especially those who are watching our parishioners through the live YouTube channel. I wish you all those mothers and sisters. During the rosary time, you say, "You know, go and see what's happening in the kitchen." During the mass time, go and see in the kitchen. For all of you today, happy feast. Don't worry, don't discourage. You all say, "Martha, God loves you." During a prayer, you're serving. During a serving, you're praying. So, wish you happy feast, dear saints. God Saint bless you. Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Love it was that made us. and it was love that saved us love was god's plan when he made man god's divine nature is love born of god's love we must love him that's why he made us to love him but only when we love all men can we partake of god's love but only when we love all men can we partake of god's love